Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and we're going to take a look at the dominant energies for this week and how you can use them to make this a great week in your life. Well, this is a week that is full of emotional energy. Um, don't be surprised if your heart wants to lead the way this week. Also, don't be surprised if your emotions get a little ruffled this week. This is just one of those weeks where you're feeling before you're thinking. And so it's important to work with your emotions well this week. Now, the first card that we have up talks about being very grounded and very creative at the same time. This is about using your creative thinking to help you get where you want to go this week. And that creative thinking can help you in any situations where you feel your emotions are running the show in a way that you really don't want them to, or where you need more emotion in the situation. Get creative about how you express that. This is also a week where you can tap into your serenity just at will. That's one of the gifts of our emotions, is that ability to just calm ourselves and flow with what's going on because we know that it's just part of the story. It's not the whole story. If you need to, take a little time to meditate this week, if that'll help you stay on a better even keel emotionally. This is also a week where your history comes into play. Now, when our emotions are up and our history is playing, Sometimes that's wonderful and sometimes that can cause us some problems because sometimes we can get tripped up in old stories that don't have anything to do with today. If you find yourself getting tripped up in an old story or your emotions are getting triggered in a way that doesn't work for you, remember to pull out the creative thinking and remember to calm yourself down. Tap into your natural ability to be serene in situations. This is also a great week for balance. And what balance calls us to do is make sure that we have enough food, enough sleep, enough intellectual stimulation, enough physical activity, enough emotional expression, so that the wholeness of our being gets to play this week. This isn't a week to narrow down your scope of activities to where the only thing you're doing all week long is one type of activity. Be a little more broad-based this week. This is also a great week for enthusiasm. We're all a little on the fiery side this week. We have a lot of energy. We have a lot of ability to just put our joy and our passion out there into the world in ways that get shared with other people or maybe just inspire other people. So in summary for this particular week, what I'd like you to do is remember first and foremost that your emotions are leading the show this week. So come from your heart. Come from that wonderful, soft willingness to connect with other people and that ability to really see other people at their hearts. Add some creativity into it and be enthusiastic about whatever you do. This week can be one that really inspires you and lays a great foundation for next week. Have a wonderful week.